everyone. Welcome back to PJ's Cake Class. Holiday season is coming. Um, I think it's a good time to demonstration a really simple uh, snow flax pendant or you can make it into the earring. Um, after you've done this file, you can send it to the shipway to print any desired material you wanted and that will be a great holiday gift. Okay, so let's take a look what we need uh, for making this pendant. First of all, we will need to understand the structure, then we'll draw a bunch of a curve uh, to achieve the form. And we might have a lot of extra we need to trim in, so we'll use the command trim and join. Um, there are two commands. After trimming, we'll join it. And then um, after they all join into the closed curve, we will extrude a planar curve to turn it into the solid. And I do like to have a little bit angle on the edges because that make it more dimension. Uh, it look more three dimension. So we'll, under the solid command, you have one called chamfer. So we can make the edge look nicer. Let's get started. So let's go to Google. And uh, what you want to find is the image of um, the snow flags. Uh, we don't want anything is way too complicated because um, in fact if you have uh, this form we may also able to set the stone on top of it to be more a luxury uh, version of it. So we want to find some form as simple. So in the Google um, you can you can have any of those form you want, I, I tend to go more uh, fat a little bit. So that way I can arrange the stone in the middle later on if I want to. So what am I looking at is this shape. Um, so that gave me the basic structure. So what I'm going to do is the right click and save the image into anywhere that you can find it. Okay. Then we will go to Rhino. Uh, let me turn this off. We like to decide it, uh, what size we are going to have uh, as a pendant and I like it small. I would like to have about 20 millimeters. So I'm going to use the uh, polygon tool and I want to snap it into the zero. Let me snap it into close to uh, 20 millimeter there. Uh, if you come up with a five size, which is in the default, you just need to go to the number and type it six here. All right, and then I'm gonna go uh, roughly about 20 millimeter, okay. And now we wanted to do is bringing our picture. So in the command bar, you're going to type a picture frame. Then we're gonna bring in the snow flex and then roughly about that size. Um, you can size it um, later on. Uh, what I like to do is just get the roughly size there and I'm using my gumball to scale it down just a little bit. They don't have to be super, super. It's just a guideline for us to see like roughly how thick uh, and, the, and the structure that is, okay? So first of all, let me lock uh, this picture frame so we are not uh, interact with it and I will since the picture is um, the picture is black and white I would like to change my line color to the red color so it's easier for me to see okay so make sure your all snap is on and endpoints on and then we want to do a few things here uh, to understand the structure it has a six size and what we need to do is we just need to make one and then we can rotate it and duplicate it. Okay. So with this one, I'm going to have this curve offset on both sides. And in, the, in my case, because I'm in a roughly about 20 millimeter tall, I would like to have a distance uh, 0.8 millimeter on each side. You can do like what I do, do it twice. Or if you want to go faster, you can do make sure uh, both sides, you click on both sides so you will have both lines at once. Okay. The second thing that I like to do is draw this area and look like they are kind of parallel to the, the, uh, 
angle curve right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move one approximately right in the middle and I hit all key with my gumball and so that will copy a line there okay with this line we're gonna do the same thing uh, go into the curve tool and we will offset this on um, both sides with the same width okay so it get really close for what we have here okay now if I look closer this thing is actually shorter and I would like it make it visually look nicer so I'm going to have the um, another curve it's going to copy close to our target and I'm actually going to use a move tool to snapping into this intersection so make sure your intersection is on all right so that look nice okay then I will need to draw another one for the straight line and again the, the image online is not exactly what we want because in Rhino we want it to be super accurate uh, so we just need to have it as a background and most likely for us to know what is uh, what the shape is and what size they are okay so once you get everything we just need to do a bunch of uh, trimming okay we don't need anything in the middle so I can just go ahead and hide this line there because we don't need it uh, and then I'm gonna select all of them and then use the trim tool to trim any things that I don't need for example here um, it's it might be hard for you to see so let me um, unlock the background and kind of hide it okay so I think this is easier for us to see okay so let me trim uh, I'm going to trim here 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 so you kind of get what I am doing here okay all right so for the rest of it we could just delete them uh, don't have to worry about them uh, one more things here this might need to be trim everything on the bottom okay so the rest of it is not touching we can just delete them once you clean up clean up everything uh, and also the one in the bottom we just need to have this guy mirror to the other side and use that we just mirror to trim off the line in between and once everything is done let's go ahead and join it okay so the snowflake structure let me turn this back on it has six of them so what we need to do let me just hide it back again what we need to do is actually rotate and set the center zero type is zero enter and holding your shift and click on either x or y axis okay so i'm just gonna type it 60 degree oops i need to that's a good example i need to copy it so do one more time and make sure copy equal yes so 60 degree 120 degree 180 degree 240 degree and 300 degree all right, so that gives us a very uniform structure there, okay? And I just need to trim the one in the middle. So I don't need you guys. Okay, so once it's everything is clean, one more here. Once everything's clean, let's go ahead and join them. So make sure it's a closed curve uh, right here on the property uh, it should show you it's a closed curve okay uh, bring back the p 
picture frame we also have some sort of like six size or 12 size star here uh, and a six size uh, polygon over there so we are going to use the star tool and again we want to snapping into the middle okay um, I'm going to do things like roughly like this and then uh, I'm just gonna rotate it in this case 30 degree to fit in there another one is the polygon and I just snapping into the point all right so at this point we no longer um, need this background there all right so there are two lines over here. I'm gonna turn it into other color as a green line that's right in the middle. Okay, so now let's go to the perspective view. In the perspective, I would like to have the bottom one going to the solid extruded planar curve straight. All right, and make sure solid is equal yes. And we don't need both sides. We only need it to go down. So I'm just gonna type it minus one. So you will extrude it uh, going lower for or on the minus Z axis for one millimeter. Okay. I'm going to have this one extruded again. This one gonna going up one millimeter. And because I select both of them, so you automatically cut out in the mid middle. Uh, I'm gonna use that curve, the green curve. Let me turn it into the ghost view. Let me use that curve and I'm also going to extrude it one more time. Going straight. And the reason is I need to cut out the things in the back. So I'm going to use a bowling difference. This out of this guy. Uh, this out of the one in the middle. Okay, so we'll cut out a hole. Uh, I want to make sure it has its intersect. Right, so I need to have this going down. Uh, you can kind of eyeball it, or you can type it. Uh, that's to minus 0.5 because the thickness was one millimeter. Okay. All right. Now everything look nice. Uh, we could just go ahead to chamfer. Uh, in this case, I want a chamfer to be 0.25. Let's try 0.25. Depends on how good your computer, it might get a little bit slower. All right, so now everything is done. We will go into bowling unit, and that is our snow flags. All we need to do now is adding a jump ring and adding the bell. After adding the jump ring and also the bell, then this is your snow flags pendant. If you found this is helpful video, uh, help me to spread the word by liking or commenting. Uh, it helped me to reach more people and allow me to create more free video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.